morning campers. So I'm, I'm still good, but I know you guys have seen the title, so I'm not going to waste any time. I did not lose any weight this week. Um, and I will tell you because I don't want to draw it out. I gained 0.2 pounds. Now I know, I know, it's not a lot. Um, but to somebody who's on a journey, it was a little bit stifling because I kind of expected to still lose weight. But I know exactly why I didn't. I'm not trying to throw any type of excuse because somebody who's on a weight loss journey will find a way to get their exercise in to do it. Me, I'm not there yet. I didn't find a time to do it. I, I did not have time. Um, well, there were days that you did try. I did. And You'll get into that. But. Yeah. And you were being so positive and supportive. I love you so much. I, love you. I just want you to know that. You're working very hard. I know. And I'm seeing a difference this time around than any other try you've done in the past. So. Well, I really want that bike. <laughs> <laughs> Which, um, just to update on that bike, I have found some other bikes that are much less expensive that will be able to support my weight. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. I found one that's even down into the $600 range, which is almost $400 off. So I am really happy about that. Um, so I will say in here that I'm glad I was on this journey because, you know, if I had had the money at the time, I might have purchased that bike and not spent time scouring the internet trying to find, um, you know, trying to find a better deal. But we'll get into that more toward the end. So I had a really rough week last week. I had two deadlines creep up on me, one at my job and then one at you know, for school, for my dissertation. And it's a lot for me to go into uh, details on, but basically, you know, I'll be giving a presentation at my work that will be available for people to see um, for, I don't know if there's an end date, I have no idea. Um, also, the PowerPoint, which I am not very good at, I don't like PowerPoints, I don't like to use them because I prefer to look at people. I've had to actually learn how to use PowerPoint and learn how to put like animation into it and make a good presentation. So that unfortunately took a lot of my time this week. And when I say took a lot of my time, I literally would work and it, during work when I had downtime, I was also working on this. Um, I took even a less of a lunch break. I cut into my self-care time, which I shouldn't have. Admittedly, I know that. And I knew that from the beginning, but I just didn't see any other way out. So what would happen was I, I made a choice the first couple days last week, um, and it even started on the weekend, that I just said I don't have time to sit down at the table, you know, and pedal, because when I'm pedaling, when I'm vigorously getting into it, I can't... I can't focus on my computer yet. It, I just couldn't do it. So I talked to Carrie about it and she made me feel better about it. And you know, this is a requirement for my internship in order to graduate. So I had to get it done. I know a lot of you guys don't know a lot about my dissertation, but it's something that I have to do in order to, you know, get my doctorate in clinical psychology, which is something I've been working toward um, for the better part of my, my education. Um, time some of you know I started off in business but anyway with that being said I right now I'm in the stage where I have to utilize a team so I have I had to be able to work around their schedules so knowing I had this deadline at work I also had to make time to meet with my team and last week I met with them three times so one of the nights it was six to nine you know another night it was six to eight so literally getting off of work eating dinner, spending some time with my family, helping clean up a little bit, and then I was right back at it working again, and then getting Harrison, you know, doing my part for his, like, bedtime, then <laughs> seeing my wife at night, you know, and it was, it was really tough for me, and the other part of that is that I didn't have any time to interact with the group, with my, my accountability buddies. I basically wrote in there and told him, I said, you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm going to be MIA this week because I have to get this stuff done. And I knew that I was going to take a hit with weight. 
but I really thought that I would be able to maintain it. And I know that you guys are probably saying it's 0.2 pounds. That's nothing. That is maintenance. It is, and you're right, it is maintenance. And I'm talking to you guys, I'm already like changing the way that I'm looking at this. I mean, 0.2 pounds, it's not like I gained a pound, it's not like I gained two pounds. I gained 0.2 pounds, and that could have had everything to do, you know, honestly, even with the way I was standing, you know, if I had my arms out and above my, I mean, I don't even remember how I was standing, but if I wasn't standing the correct way, I mean, that could have, you know, added more weight. But anyway, seeing it, seeing that I didn't lose any weight and gained, it doesn't matter how much it was, it, I did take a hit. But the good thing is, is I know how to fix it. Like, I know... I also know that what I'm eating and the water I'm bringing in, I'm still able to eat what I'm eating and not gain an exorbitant amount of weight. So there are so many good things here for me to look at and just to kind of forget about, oh, yeah, I gained 0.2 pounds. But I've been able to maintain my weight. It, it hasn't gone up. It hasn't, you know, it hasn't really fluctuated. You know, so that made me feel really good. It's important to go into the couple days that I did try. Um, <laughs> so, I don't remember what day it was, and I have a little bit of a, a vague memory of this whole situation, something that we didn't film. Um, I was in, we were in bed, and we were doing like our reading with Harrison and stuff like that, and the alarm went off, so that gives Harrison like this five minute warning that we're gonna, you know, go put him in his bed. And he likes it when we play this game called hide. He actually says hide, hide. And it's basically you take a blanket or the sheet, you put it up over your head, and he kind of comes at you and tackles you. Now, I've been doing this with him. We've been doing this with him for so long. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's been a couple times where, you know, he's like ran into me or hit my chest. And I was like, man, that's hard. That's, well, the kid's growing. I mean, he's getting, he's growing. So I didn't really think about it, but... I did it and he came at me and he hit me in the head so hard and I don't remember much of this so do you want to like can you maybe come out and tell him or no I don't remember enough of like what happened oh you're gonna come see it okay she's gonna sit she's gonna she's gonna join in on the video all right. Hi, everyone. That's you so pretty. So Harrison was playing hide with mommy, and he came in, and he actually clocked her, like, right above her eye here. And she went, oh, which she always does when she gets hit in the head by Harrison. Oh, wow, you got some um, paper towels. <laughs> but she, like, laid back, and she started to drift off again, like, the when she got a concussion from Harrison the first time. And I was like, no, no, oh bud. man, here we go again. No, no, son. Anyway. So she started to drift off and I was like, oh no, not again, not again. <laughs> so I like woke you up and I asked you what your name was, what your mom's name was and all that stuff. And I knew all that, right? You did. Okay. So that's when I knew that it wasn't as bad as the first time when Harrison hit her with a spoon. Um, but I knew that it was still probably going to cause a headache for her. Yeah. So um, I put Harrison to bed and I monitored Tiffany for the rest of the night, made sure she turned off all the lights, stayed off her iPad. Oh, did you shove that whole thing in your mouth? And, um, you know, got a lot of rest. And the next day she's like, oh, I kind of have a headache, but like, doing things like playing on her iPad or trying to play the Xbox or pedaling on the bike caused her headache to get worse. And that was Sunday night, right? That it happened? I don't remember what day it was. I only remember that you told me I might need to call off work. Yes. So I thought it, it was, happened on a weekend. It was Sunday night yeah, because okay. I'm like, I'm gonna call off work for you. Um, she didn't, by the way, I, I still didn't. worked. Oh, yeah. So, Working for you was fine, even though you're working in front of a computer. You yeah. didn't seem to get too. Since I, I I turned around too, I wasn't staring at the computer all day. Yeah. You know, and I would just you know do my therapy via the phone mm -hmm. or whatever. But like fast flashing things on like a phone or an iPad or the TV, or um, like exercise, strenuous exercise, 
was causing her to get a, feel a little woozy, nauseous, things like that. So I'm like, well, you need to stop doing what you're doing then and just rest. And that's something I didn't even know. I think it's important to like throw that in there because I, I was fully, I got on the bike. Or not the bike, I got on the pedals. I started working, I start, I was pedaling. Just like I, I am now, you know, and Carrie, I, Carrie looked at me and said, what's wrong with you? And I said, I don't know, I just feel really lightheaded. And she's like, well, you know, that probably has something to do with what happened last night. Mm -hmm. And if you start doing this vigorous exercising, less oxygen, blah, blah, blah. And I'm it, like, oh, worse. like I didn't even know. So mm -hmm. Monday and Tuesday, I could not get on at all because of that. Right, oh. yeah. I don't even so. know if Wednesday you could. I don't know for sure. I think you started to feel better on Wednesday. But I know that Monday and Tuesday it was making you feel nauseous. That's it, buddy. So. They're all gone. All gone. No. Yeah. Okay, and you know, I know you can chalk up a lot of things for excuses, but I don't feel that way. Like, I don't feel like not being able to work out because I had a head injury is a negative excuse. You know, and let's keep in mind, any reason that you don't do something, it's called an excuse. So, I think that that was a very positive excuse. Um, literally going through the hours of my day. So, I don't feel bad that I couldn't, I don't feel bad that I could not find the time because I was not sitting around. I was not sitting on the couch, laying in the corner. I had my computer up so much and... It was a lot, but with all of that being said, I still managed to not gain a bunch of weight. So I really think that that needs to be the positive. So things, things that I've learned about myself, you know, over this last week is that if I do eat something and I do walk away for a little bit, I don't need any more. Um, when I did have an Oreo or two, if I grabbed them out of the package and didn't take the package with me, not that I ever really did that before, but I was able to eat it and then have the mindset that, okay, cool, I had a snack. Not the best snack for when you're on a weight loss journey, but I still had that snack. I made that choice to have that snack, and I was still getting enough exercise in, enough energy was being burned by me without using the bike. So... I keep saying bike, but you guys know I mean uh, my QB, which I've also called named McPedler. Um, so using, imagine like what could happen next week, you know, like starting today, which I did. I'm not going to, I don't have a lot of information to show you on um, my QB app today, but I will show you that my progress for the week, um, Yesterday, two days ago, I managed to get my mile in. So this was Monday, if you can see it. Monday is where I actually tried and I couldn't. Took Tuesday off. Wednesday, I tried again and I was like, ah, I can't. Thursday, I hit my mile. I hit it on Thursday. And then yesterday, I still had, I had to finish up all of my stuff. Um, I did not get done doing, I was outside until... 8.15, hurried up, came in, went to the bathroom, got Harrison in for reading, and then I started streaming. Yes, you could make the argument that I could have pedaled instead of streamed, but I made that choice to not do that because I had already made a commitment, um, you know, to streaming that night. And even if it was for 10 people, it was worth it. I had fun. So, so yeah. I'm sad overall because I didn't see a big drop, but I'm also extremely happy that it wasn't a huge gain, if that makes any sense. So, for next week, I'm gonna be more active with my accountability buddies. I'm gonna do better on my goals, try to get that mile in. I'm gonna keep trying to go outside and getting some work done now that I got most of my stuff planted, um, which you'll see all that on Monday. And then, uh, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I, I'm gonna continue with my water intake and I think I'm gonna, this week, I think I'm gonna try and incorporate more greens into my food, look at some more spinach, more plant-based foods. Um, I really wanna get some more avocados in, stuff like that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Thanks for being on this journey with me. 
thank you for watching it and sharing your stories because when I hear these stories, even if they're ones that aren't working out right at the time or they're doing so much you know, better than they thought they would, it's motivation. Like the point of me sharing my story with you is not for you to say, oh, good job, oh, good this. It helps, but I'm doing this for myself and sharing it with you to motivate you. If you think I'm doing great and you wanna tell me, that's awesome. But my goal is to do this for myself, for my family, a little bit for the bike, but overall sharing it with you guys is to give you motivation because I've been in a place where I couldn't get motivated before and I couldn't find anyone really genuine about wanting other people to succeed. This isn't for views. I don't care if only six people watch this, but if those six people are motivated to go make a, a change for the better in their lives, that's winning. So thanks for watching. Thank you so much for sharing. I hope everybody has a great week and here's to another great week ahead of us. And let's see if we can make a big change in our lives. And I'll catch you on the flippity.